it's time to get creative. We don't have a choice. The time has come to upgrade our internet LAN. Now, either we don't have the money to do this or we don't want to spend the money doing this, but we just don't have a choice. So today I'm going to show you what I had to do to upgrade my LAN without spending that extra cash. Okay, let's do this. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Liron Sega, where I talk about Wi-Fi and gadget and tech tips and phones and how to. If you're into that kind of stuff, hit that subscribe button below and let's get on to today's show. So there are loads and loads of tips and tricks on this channel of how you can optimize your Wi-Fi, optimize your network, get the most out of your system, but there isn't a single Wi-Fi tip and trick or hack or gadget that's going to get you more internet speed than you're paying for. If you're paying for 5 megabits per second, no matter what you do, you're not magically going to get 100 megabits per second. So that leads us to the last resort, which is giving your ISP more money to upgrade your lines and get that faster speed. But we know it's so darn expensive. In fact, when I put up uh, this poll over here, over 50% of you said you would love to upgrade your connectivity, but it's financially not feasible. And I hear you. For this tech channel, I have a certain budget that I'm allowed to spend when I buy my gear and the products I show you guys. So I had a choice. I could either start earning more money to try to pay for that line, or I could cut back on some expenses to see how I can take that money and give it to my ISP instead. And in fact, I looked for a whole bunch of tech solutions and saving money was actually a lot easier than I thought. So let me show you what I had to do. Let's start off with this guy. It's our cell phone. Yes, of course we want to have a cell phone connectivity every month. That is something that we just simply cannot live without. However, you know what we can live without is that monthly cell phone bill. So here is where the first app comes in. It's a company called Text Now and allows you to get unlimited talk time, unlimited text, and in costing you zero, absolutely nothing. In fact, text now is so good. I've been telling everyone about it that they were even kind enough to sponsor this video. So I hear you saying, well, perhaps it's just a voice over IP application that you, know, you and the other person needs to have installed. Not so much. You see, with text now, you get a real cell phone number, not a virtual number that you need two apps to have the same system so you guys can talk to each other. This is a real cell phone number, and in fact, it actually piggybacks on the Sprint network. What does that mean? Well, when you're at home, you can use your Wi-Fi, and you can make calls and receive calls, send text, receive text, all using your Wi-Fi. However, when you leave the house, well, guess what? Your phone actually hooks onto the Sprint network, allowing you to be fully connected wherever there is Sprint connectivity. And it's not going to cost you anything. So what is the catch, I hear you asking? Well. If you look in your text messages, you'll see some ads. Pay a small add-on fee and get rid of those ads. You want some data? No problem. Simply buy the data as you need it. That's the beautiful thing about text now. You're not limited to one thing. You're not restricted. You're not locked in. There is not any contract. If you have a side business and you need another number, blah, text now will work for that. If you've got your kids and you want to make sure that you're in contact with them, why are you paying a monthly fee for every single number that you have from your service provider only to only use it a couple of times when you want to get a hold of your kids or they need to get a hold of you like mom come and fetch me you know that kind of thing the nice thing is with text now you simply install it on their phones you get to select your numbers and then your bill goes down to zero take that money and put it towards your isp bill and you're not compromising on anything this is just superb <laughs> Okay, so now we've got text now on our phone. We've saved a whole bunch of money with text now. And now what's next? Well, we all kind of stuck at home at the moment. We're being safer at home, which basically means we turn to a lot of online shopping from everything from tech gadgets to your groceries, push a button and somebody will deliver your groceries for you. What a time to be alive, right? So this is where the next app comes in. It's an app called Abota. Am I saying that right? I don't know. And essentially what this is, it's a cash back app. So when you do your shopping, it essentially looks at your bill and says, hey, you should get some money back and he puts money back into your account. Not points which are redeemable for something else, but actual cash. Now, the cool thing about Abota is that there's two options. You have an option when you're shopping online or an option when you're shopping in store. If you're shopping online, you install their Chrome browser add on. As soon as you do, may do your shopping, it looks at your items and says, hey, I can give you cash back on these items. Now they work with a whole host of retailers, just simply install the add-on and then it will pop up whenever it can detect that you can save you some money. 
Here's the cool bit. If you shop in store in the real world, what you can do is take your receipt, scan it with the Abota app, and it goes back into their system and it comes back with a message to say, hey, I'm going to give you a whole bunch of money back on these various items. How epic is that? You're going to buy the stuff anyway. Well, get some money back into your account. How would you like to be paid not to touch your phone whilst you're driving? Yep, we all know that we shouldn't be touching our phone whilst we're driving, but let's be honest, um, we're all guilty of doing that every once in a while at least. So this is where this next app comes in. It's called On My Way and they pay you not to touch your phone whilst you're driving. All you do is you install the app, you get into your car, you start driving, the app detects automatically that you've gone over 10 miles per hour and now anybody trying to text you will automatically get a message back saying, sorry, can't talk now, I'm driving. Yes, of course, you can still use your GPS, you can listen to your music, you can do all of that stuff. And of course, when you get to your destination, you're going to be able to respond back to those text messages. Okay, this next step works for both saving money and making money. So if you're like me, you've probably gone through your closet a couple of times during this lockdown period, trying to work out the whole 80-20 rule, you know, we wear 20% of our clothes 80% of the time. So what do you do with the clothes you're not actually wearing? Well, an app like Poshmark comes in really, really handy. So on Poshmark, what do you do is you t register as a seller, you grab an item of clothing, you take a picture on it, add some details, and you upload it to their system. They've got an entire marketplace of people selling and buying clothes. They take care of pretty much everything. All you have to do is once you, somebody buys their outfit, simply stick it in a bag, send it off to them. They do the their labels as well and then voila, you've just made a whole bunch of cash. Now on the flip side of that, if you wanna buy something, well, they've got all the brand names and from other people who've done exactly that. I've got clothes that we bought for our kids who have still got the tag on them. They've simply grown out of it, never got into it. Brand, brand new stuff, all brand names that I'm very happy to sell. Poshmark is the app. All these links will be in the description. You can check them out. So many of us have monthly subscription fees that automatically come out of our accounts. Now, of course, we can name the big ones like the Netflix, the Hulu's, the Amazons. We know them off the top of our head. But what about the ones you don't really think of? Things like a Dropbox or royalty free music or domain renewals, things that don't actually happen on a monthly basis, but maybe happen quarterly or annually. Things that we tend to forget and only realize once the money has come off our credit card. So I'm terrible at keeping track of that stuff. This is why I love this application called Truebill. With this app, not only do you get a snapshot of your entire kind of financial structure, knowing exactly where you stand, it also tells you which bills are coming up, gives you a reminder that you have to pay, but it also goes through your subscriptions and then really pops them up in front of you saying the following subscriptions are available. Are you still using them? If not, time to terminate those services. The cool little bit with Truebill as well They'll even negotiate better rates for you at some of these service providers. The way it works is they keep 40% off the savings that they give for you. So if they save you $100 on your electricity, they keep 40, you get the other 60. Truable, great little app. Again, link will be in the description below to check it out. Which one was your best tip? Let me know in the comments. And thank you for hanging out here. Check out more tips and tricks down here. Hit the head below to subscribe if this is your first time here. Give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you in those videos. Let's go.